to my channel. My name is Nicole. I am a stay-at-home homeschooling mom of three girls. Uh, this coming school year, 2022-2023, I will have a fourth grader, first grader, and preschooler. I am so excited about this coming year. I am so thrilled to really um, dive deep with both of my older girls in the homeschool um, that we're going to be doing. Um, on this channel, I really love sharing my thoughts of homeschooling curriculum, what I use, how I use it. I'm super eclectic, so I love mixing and matching things and seeing how they work together. Um, I definitely use a lot of resources, but I'm somebody that a first grade curriculum can last two years if we're really filling it in with some other things. So I really love mixing and matching um, curriculum and having that eclectic style. So this year, my middle daughter is in first grade. It is so hard to believe. I can't believe that she's going into first grade. Um, it feels like she was just two years old. I don't know what's happening. But for this year, we have a lot of curriculum. I am really trying a bunch of different things out to see what works for her and how she really likes to learn. I know that she really likes book work and she really likes worksheets, but I am excited to try a plethora of uh, curriculum and mix and match and pull pieces from other uh, different things and see what she really thrives with. If you are new to my channel, um, you might not know that my oldest is dyslexic. We do not think that my middle daughter is dyslexic. And so her learning style is just so different than my oldest daughter. So it's very exciting to um, be on this journey um, that is completely new and different. So let's start with what I start off with first, which is language arts. And this year for language arts for my middle daughter, we will be doing language arts and literature from The Good and the Beautiful. This is level K. This is the old version. The Good and the Beautiful just a couple days ago came out with the new version of level K. We have the old version. And this old version is still that advanced uh, language arts. So we are only about halfway through um, this. And so we will just continue to use this until she's done. With that, I did buy some of the, new, of the new resources. With that, I did buy the new Reading Booster A cards. Um, this is what they now use instead of flash cards. Really fun and colorful, so I thought that would be fun. I also bought the Reading Booster A books. These are little, um, little readers, um, which are similar to what they used to use, but much better quality. Um, remind me a lot of the old um, reading little beginner reading books that Good and Beautiful had. And then I bought um, my first nature reader. So I bought all of the extras for the new um, Good and Beautiful K, but I didn't buy the actual course because we were already halfway done with that course. When she's done with the um, K level that she is on, we will then move to the Good and the Beautiful, and this is just in its wrapping still. Um, this is the Good and the Beautiful level one. And it is the new one, as you can tell, so it comes with the reading booster cards, it comes with the little readers, and then I went ahead and also bought the um, nature reader, my second nature reader that goes with um, level one, because I just think it's adorable, and it will, um, re she'll really enjoy that. Along with Good and the Beautiful, we do also use All About Reading. This is level one, same thing. She's um, not very far into level one, so we'll just keep doing that until she is done. And then we will move into level um, two with her. I How I set up All About Reading is I don't have to buy anything new. I use it, um, I've used it with my oldest daughter and how I set it up in the binders. It's just easy to use with my other children. And I don't have to buy anything new. And since it's such a solid curriculum, we are using it. I only do it um, a couple times a week because we do rely a lot on the good and the beautiful. Along with language arts, we have, I'm going to show you the books, the workbook things. I told you that my daughter really likes workbooks. We do a lot of running around activities and all of that. And some of these are books that I have used with my oldest daughter that I really liked. And some of them are new. So quickly, we are going to do Evan Moore Reading Comprehension First Grade. Love that. We are going to possibly do Daily Six Traits of Writing. 
first grade um, like this. It's little fun worksheets. She really hasn't done writing yet, so I thought that would be fun. Handwriting level one, the good and the beautiful. Love that. This is from Moffat Girls on Teacher Pay Teacher. And they're just little beginning writing prompts. There are four every month. I don't think we'll get through them. Whatever I don't use, I will save for my youngest daughter when she's ready. And I'm going to even use some of these with my oldest. But they're fun, little, easy writing prompts. I also am going to start Easy Grammar. This we will probably, it will probably take us two years to complete this because it is um, just reinforcement for things that they are, she is already learning. We'll be doing Explode the Code. I love Explode the Code. Highly recommend it for all um, early readers um, for phonics. She is um, currently doing Spelling UC Level A. Um, she is maybe a third of the way through. And we will just keep um, going with this and um, finish it this year. I do not know what I will do for spelling for her after spelling UC. I have used some other levels with my oldest, and I have some thoughts on spelling UC. I don't know. Some of our other resources might cover spelling enough that we don't need to have a separate spelling curriculum. Along with um, all of what I just showed you, we are also trying, this is what's new. We are trying um, Sunlight's Language Arts, and I am doing first grade, but it is a very gentle approach. Lots of copy work and um, reading and stuff like that. So I'm going to quickly show you the books that go with the first grade Sunlight Language Arts curriculum. Um, the best trick I can read, I have these numbered, so I can put them in order. I can read book two. I can read book one, sorry. Um, this is I Can Read Word List. Dr. Seuss, One Fish, Two Fish. Little Bear, Green Eggs and Ham. The Bravest Dog Ever, Balto. The Big Ball of String. The Fly Went By. The Cat in the Hat. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm missing like it's a Dr. Seuss book, like one spot, two spot, or spot and zoo. I don't really remember. Most of these books we already owned, and so the last book I just am going to probably buy secondhand. So that will be part of her sunlight, uh, sunlight language art curriculum. That is our, like, we're trying it out. All the rest of these things we've done, or I have done with her older sister, but the, those are, sunlight language arts is new for us. For math, we will be doing Simply Good and Beautiful Level 1. We are currently just finishing up Simply Good and Beautiful Level K and really like it. We will be doing book two of Horizons Kindergarten Math. It is the reinforcement for me. Um, the Good and Beautiful Math does not have enough reinforcement in practice, so that is where Horizons comes in. I really like Horizons. We will finish this book two of Level K and then go from there and see if she needs more reinforcement. And if we do, we we'll, might just get... Um, first grade horizons, but I don't know. Some other extras. This is the kindergarten one, but this is just to show you. We also really like Moffat Girls, No Prep, um, Math and Literacy. Uh, let's see if I can find a page. This is one she didn't do. So they're fun little, they're very public school e, but they're things that they can color and it goes over um, reading and math, which we really like. And so some days she just wants to do this and I'm fine with that. So we have the first grade one as well. For some other things, um, logic, we are going to do Mind Benders level two. She is doing Mind Benders level one right now and we love it. It is all just worksheets that look like this. Logic, critical thinking. This is new for us. Skill sharpeners, critical thinking, grade one. Some of it looks kind of hard but it's just a bunch of critical thinking covering all kinds of different um, subjects. I think this will be really fun. I also really like geography, skill sharpener geography. This is the first grade one. It's very colorful and fun um, for geography skills. And then as a resource that I really like, um, I also really like um, core knowledge, what your first grader needs to know. Um, and it just has, it has history and science, it has stories, and it has 
just a bunch of information if you kind of ever think about standards or wonder about um, more of the traditional standards. We really like the core knowledge books. So that is all I am using for my first graders individual subjects. I'll have another video going over what I'm going to use for my fourth grader and another video going over what we are going to use for family subjects. I hope that this video was enjoyable, fun, informative. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below. Um, until next time, next video, have a good day.